Legend of Total War here with part 131 of my Europa Barbarorum Let's Play campaign as the Seleucid Empire. Previously, we destroyed the uh, Sarmatians at Galonus, or however it's pronounced, and um, they're gone, leaving us with 126 settlements in our control and 73 left to take. Now, we're also going to take Vindelacopidos. Um, oh, shit, I should have hired a. A throwaway unit. I didn't hire anything. Um, well, I can't get these guys out of it now. I mean, I'm still probably going to lose like a lot of men to a lot of pikemen. Maybe these guys here. Because I want to use the elephants. I suppose I still can. Oh, they had some... Hang on, hang on, hang on. We've still got movement, why don't we, since he showed himself. Hmm, I'm just wondering if this is a good idea or not. I think this is going to be quicker doing it this way. Because we kill the enemy general out in the field and then just get a mass route. It's done. Wait, they're not even going to show up for the fight, are they? Man, this battle is inevitable. In order for them to show up, I'm going to need to send a lot of my guys out. Alright, hang on, let me just reorganize this firstly. And it's a big fucking forest as well, I don't like that. Well, the first guy's nothing to be concerned about. There's no way they're going to show up when we've got this many men on the battlefield. Right, our most experienced units can leave. Okay, let's just hope that actually show up. So yeah, we we really don't have many pikemen now. Bit of a risk, but the thing is, we're only up against garbage. And if we aim for the enemy general, we'll, we're sure to win. So let's just be patient and um, see what happens if these guys don't, if, once they leave. Because the thing is, we are waiting for like 4,000 men to come on the battlefield. What's going on over here? Oh, they're fucking walking, that's why. Run, you bitch. Why are some of them walking, some of them running? Okay, they're not going to show up until they've left. I wouldn't want to send off any more than this. Because we've only got five battalions here. Each, each of them basically have to lock down four. If they show up. I don't want to send off my cavalry. For obvious reasons. I do hope they show up. It would make the assault a lot easier. Where the fuck is this guy? There he is. I don't even know if I really should be doing this. I gotta get there to shoot him. Oh, 
Yeah, they're getting fuck all damage. Don't do it. It's a waste. Okay, we just gotta wait for these guys to leave. Hopefully they show up. They're not going to show up. Fuck. There's too many of them in the city, that's why. Okay, hang on. Why don't you, why don't you come around this way? You guys come over here. Well, like, it's not the end of the world. We're still going to be able to crush these guys, but, you know. Otherwise, it's going to be a long battle getting in there just because there's so many... So many fucking enemies to fight. Come up over here. I'm taking a little bit of friendly fire, but it's okay. Stop firing now. Uh, you come over here, run them down. Yeah, real shame. I would have had to have like sent back a lot of forces in order for them to to show up. That should do it. Leave it at that. Close victory. Piss off. Well, that was a waste of time, but it's worth trying these things out sometimes. It's not like it was a bad battle. We just didn't achieve what we wanted to, but we still get another chance to take the settlement. I uh, still can't buddy hire any mercenaries. Oh well, can't do anything about it. My lord, attack! Besieging settlement, sir! Oh, up just a four and a half thousand versus three thousand. Should be easy. They have no missile units at all, do they? So yeah, we we'll use the um, slingers, kill as many of them as we can. You know, initially, send in the elephants, and then the pikes. We're not going to walk out of this without, you know, a few casualties, but it's going to hurt them a hell of a lot more than us. Yeah, it's fine. Small walls here, that's good. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, shoot this prick. I got the best slingers in the world with us here. I'm not close enough. Just be careful on the, of these towers, though. So there's over seven and a half thousand men here in the battlefield right now, which is quite a lot. Oh well, we'll whittle that down to about three thousand before too long, which is the strength of my numbers. Once they're out of ammo, probably best sending them off the battlefield just to you know allow us to speed things up.
such a big army. I mean, it's it's only big. That's the only strength they've got is numbers. Oh, they've got Alpine Phalanx here as well. But the thing is, they got their back turned to it, so they're easy to shoot there. All right, elephants, get on with it. Well, that's going on. I don't want you guys shooting. And once again, it's okay if, if like some of the elephants die and don't come back. Like if we really manage to do the battle that well, it's fine. As long as we've still got essentially 12 elephants still in play, that's what really matters. You, you should continue shooting them. Oh, they've turned around. Alright, just forget about it. We're better off shooting people in the back. Triario, that'd be great. Just uh, stand out of their way, just until they've used up their ammo. Good to see they're increasing in skill. They've maxed out now. They can't get any better than that. Those Triarii have been absolutely fucked up, that's what we want to see. Okay, stop firing again, because you don't have a good target. Alright, I want you to destroy another section of wall. So, if we've killed, let's see, how many? 14%, that means more than 450 men dead, which isn't really that much in the grand scheme of things. Come on, get on with it. really would have been great if we could have drawn them out. It would have been a lot quicker and probably would have taken less casualties as well. I don't care if they use up all their ammo. chance to shoot them in just a moment. Hey, turn around, that'd be awesome. Thank you, motherfuckers, for being stupid. Okay, stop that shit again. Good, that volley, or oh, few volleys killed an additional 2% of them. Rather they shoot the uh, the vigilies here than than those two triarii. Just 
Let's wait until they run out of ammo now. Plus, he could use a little bit of a rest. Alright, you come in, I want you to target them first. You too can leave the battlefield. You better be able to crush them. I'll be annoyed if you don't. So far, so good. God damn it. I can't believe they managed to kill an elephant. Fucking difficulty rating. I mean, yeah, we beat them, but don't forget they were already beaten up as it was. They put. They're exhausted, so you should be able to beat them. Lure them a little bit over this way. And just stay put, try and recover your fatigue, you'll fight a little bit better. I really want them to gain some experience. I think they'll they'll last longer in combat then. You guys, get in close so that the uh, elephants don't get too overwhelmed by enemy numbers. Shit, get back a bit. You guys, just be careful not to take any casualties on the approach here, so stay tight. Right, you should be able to beat them. Okay, don't kill any of them. Good, just by using overwhelming numbers here, they're uh, a little bit frightened. Get, get back, you fuckwits. Come on. I think that guy there is fucked because he didn't obey my orders. We're gonna have to just have to go for it. Okay, hang on. That might give us a, the ability to get back. Right, get back. It's, it's like all about the charge with elephants, I think, to some degree. Can't get out of it. Yeah. Like even though it doesn't really matter if they die. Um, Dare shake. Get back and recover your fatigue. I don't think they're going to give us a chance to recover our fatigue. still make this work for us. That is the only way for them to get out. If we can get a mass route, which is possible, this is going to be an absolute slaughter then. You guys get over here as well. Alright, hop to it. Let's do this. And you guys, in over here. Cut, cut them off. It's kind of risky, what we're doing here. Because if these guys here take damage, obviously my elephants won't fully replenish. Get in over here. Okay, good. They got cut off. Still losing some elephants. 
Okay, now you get a chance to rest. I want to get a mass route. Get over here. Because if we get a mass route, it's going to save us a lot of time. Let's do this and get a mess route going. It's working. Use the elephants to terrify them because they're all exhausted because they've been running around like idiots. Slow down. They're just, they're not going to stand close to this if their their friends are riding like this. They're, they're shaken. Just use the elephants to completely shock them. Sixty-five percent of them dead. Can I get some experience, you stupid elephants? It's like a fucking lawnmower. And this guy here has actually got experience. Experience, so he's not he's not ready to break. Good thing we shut him up a little bit. I don't want to be losing too many more elephants. Get him out of there. Get him out of there as well. Get the cavalry out of there. You had a good thing going, Triario. Dicks. Man, they killed what? 80% of them? Yep. It's huge. Okay, there's no way all of my elephants are going to recover in this battle, but even if they don't recover any. This is still a good number. I need to get them out of here, out of the battle. I don't want to use them again now. Oh shit, they're over here. Oh, it's such a golden opportunity to break these guys. My guys need to get out of that formation. Okay, all we'll cav. Um, get the general close by him, and they shouldn't break. Or go berserk. They didn't gain any experience. It's kind of annoying. Like how many kills do they have to get? Then again, I think the quality of the kills matter. I mean, just vigilies. Cavalry, come stand out here. We're done with you now. Same with you. You can leave. You stay close by, but we're done with you. You're not going to fight anymore. You guys get inside. Time for the, the push towards the, the uh, town square. Now there's only 15% of them left. It should be easy. Oh, motherfuckers. 
come to leave the city like no let's just go further into the city get over here idiots I can leave via that way any chance you can like break it open from the other side here that doesn't look like it get over there Too close to the tower, if you want. Okay, I need them to leave the battlefield before they go berserk. These as well. I don't want to use them again in this battle. Okay, leave the battlefield. Alright, so I'm to our pikes now. Okay, let's use the pikes that have low experience. So my mentality here is whether we use one pike or, you know, all of them. Um, as long as we hold a good, good formation, they sh it's only essentially the first few guys that are going to be attacking anyway. I'd rather not um, get in their way. I'll try and keep things nice and simple with the rest of this now. Maybe I should keep a second one close by, just in case. Nope, still doesn't like that. Get to here. Still, what a slaughter that was. Just keep running them down. Why not? Help speed things up a little bit. Come on, don't get into a weird formation. Pikes down. Alright, good. They're doing it properly. These pikes, are, uh, these pikes have proven to be a bit of a problem in this battle. They stopped us from getting a you know, big mass rail. Well, we, we got the big mass rail. We, they just you know blocked us when we were trying to get a bit further. And they're actually beating us here. Well, they've they've got it. They've actually got more experience than, than these guys, so it's not really that surprising. They're not doing a very good job of it. They can kill all the other ones, but yeah, these Triari are very strong. So what if they take damage? It's going to increase their experience, so they'll do better next time. Oh, 
probably need you to come over here. Because it's not doing that well. So at least we push them away from their flanks. Yeah, Pike's down. Frustrating. Stupid Pikes. I don't think the guy actually died. Must be close to death though. There we go, got him. I really wish we had shot more of them with the um with the slingers. These guys are doing more damage than the bloody all their veli uh, vigilies combined. I think they're going to get victory here. Surely it's only counting against them. Oh, we actually broke them. Good job. Make sure you run them all down. You can. Alright, that cut them down by a lot. Alright, you've had enough now. Come and stand back over here. So I've got these guys. Pick your pace. Do they have any experience? Two. So there'll be a little bit of a threat. I might have to bring more reinforcements up here. Would you just get into fucking formation? God damn it. That's the problem. They just don't want to get into fucking formation at all. They're not in guard mode, so I don't know why they, they twirl around like that, but okay, now they're in formation. Maybe they need to be in guard mode if they just want them to stay put. I don't know. Everyone was telling me to go, you know, not use. Them, not use um, guard mode. But then when I don't use guard mode, they act, they act spastic either way. That's the problem. Is that there isn't doesn't seem to be a correct way to use them. It's just more a case of well, you just got to accept the fact they're going to be idiots. Well, I don't like that. Okay, they're doing all right there. Just hold your formation. What's left over here? We got Vigilies and Principes. Okay. Uh, you come over here. I don't want them hitting us in the flank. We'll have to get some over there to help them. Guard mode does actually seem to be a bit better. So keep them away from their flank. When you had it, pipes down. Oh, fuck's sake. But this is no need for that at all. There we go. As long as they stay like that, we'll eventually kill them all. Just a bit of patience required now.
So slow. The thing is, they're not touching us. Not taking any casualties while we're going like this. If I move them, we're going to take casualties. We just need to be patient. fight because that would speed things up. All right, good. Get on with it. They're actually giving us a bit of a hard time. It might have something to do with the fact that their experience and also their um, fatigue is, is good. See, now they're, now they're falling. Still taking damage, but they're taking more. I think those Triarii are gone. Okay, I want you to come back. Just just provide a little bit of a, a bit of help here in the gap. You need to be on guard mode or else. Okay, that that was perfect there. It's pretty much no weak spot there except around the side. If they go around the side they'll just break. taking quite a bit of damage. Alright. You can get out of that. That didn't really work out too well there. There's only like 30 of them left. Yeah, that's not what I told you to do. It's really not hard. You got him good. Yeah, push them into the pikes. Finally, god damn it. That's pretty damn good, I think, kill ratio wise. Alright, so elephants, they all recovered. I didn't want them to, but they all did. All my cavalry recovered as well, which is good, because I did want them to recover. Where's the other one? Yeah, that's how it was to begin with. Okay, cool. So, uh, an important settlement of, of Rome, now under our control. That should significantly slow down their rate of recruiting vigilies and other shit. Fabulously wealthy, is he? Well, that's good. Whatever gives him more influence is good. So, what have we got here? 
We we'll utilize that one, obviously. Good. Saves me having to start again with it. Very good. Okay, I'm not sure what else there is for me to do this turn, but we'll take a break here. Yes, and end the video. Okay guys, so like and subscribe, part uh, 132 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.